Hi, welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Tupperwine. Construction goes on all around us. Buildings, roadways, houses, it seems cities are always expanding upward and outward. But as cities and towns move up and out, older buildings and infrastructure has to be replaced. That's where deconstruction comes in, and designing the right tools for that job is what today's show is all about. I'm Vince Penman. We spoke with Matt Cormack, Senior Product Designer at Arbor Tech about their newly designed All Saw 170, a portable saw capable of deconstructing tough surfaces. Unlike traditional saws that use a chain driven or disc cutting motion, the All Saw 170 uses a high frequency elliptical motion to hammer and cut material at the same time. While this motion is powerful, containing that power poses unique design challenges. Designers at Arbor Tech were faced with two conflicting issues. First was creating blades and a connection rod that could withstand the massive inertial and torque forces created by the motor. Second was ensuring the saw would be light enough for versatile everyday use. Inertial motion is a product of mass coupled with speed and it was these physics that were at the front of the engineers at Arbortex Mines when they decided on a two-fold strategy for reducing the weight of the blade. First, Matt's team decided that the blade's width needed to be tapered from wide to narrow as the blade moved from its connection point to the cutting edge. Not only did this taper reduce the mass of the blade, but it allowed the blade a degree of flexion along its length that would prevent it from breaking during use. The next step in reducing the blade's weight was to carve away sections of material while ensuring that the blade was strong enough not to shatter. To do this testing, Arbortech used Creoparametric to begin cutting away sections of the blade's body. After each section was removed, Creosimulate was used to run stress analysis to determine whether or not the blade would break under working conditions. Because the all saws blades were not the only element of the machine that were subject to huge inertial and torque forces, the same considerations needed to be taken into account when designing the saw's connection rod. Typically, connection rods are made of rigid steel, which makes them strong, but also very heavy. Again, this weight was a non-starter for Arbortex designers. They decided to use aluminum because of its relatively low weight. To further maximize weight savings, engineers began radically reshaping the connection rod and applying stress simulations to the solid models of their designs. In the end, reshaping the connection rod shaved 800 grams from the all saw, which is about two pounds. By substantially reducing the weight of several key components in the all saw 170, Arbortex engineers created a saw capable of deconstructing the hard surfaces while being light enough to be used for hours at a time. You can see Creo Parametric in action, the same software that Arbortech used to design their all saw and its blades at ptc.com slash go slash Creo Parametric. If you like the show, please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.